I'm Barbara. Welcome to Yes Spaces. Today we're going to make some silhouette pillows appropriate for the holidays. Now obviously I think you could guess these are Thanksgiving silhouettes but you could do this for any holiday. Just have a pair of some things. I've even been thinking that I'd like to flip these over and put something else on the back. The way I made these is I just found some very plain, basic, ready-made pillows, but you of course could make your own. I found a drawing of some pilgrim children online that I blew up, and because I just enjoy it, I drew them freehand onto the pillow. Many of you probably won't enjoy drawing freehand onto the pillow, so I'm going to show you a quick trick into how you could turn an image on the computer into an outline for these pillows. So let's pretend we're doing them for Christmas. For example, maybe on the back of our Thanksgiving pillows, we'd like to do a reindeer on one and a reindeer on the other with a red nose. That could be really fun. You take the image, you blow it up as large as you'd like, and then you buy something called transfer paper. The only transfer paper that I could find was the Martha Stewart brand. I found it at Michael's. Any local craft store would probably carry it. You, it has a side with, it's almost like an old-fashioned carbon paper, but in gray. So the side with the material that's going to transfer over, you put down on top of the fabric. The other side just feels like wax paper. Then you lay your image on top of that. Position it where you want it to be in the center of your pillow, your napkin, your placemat, whatever you're making. And then you take something called a stylus. I've also just done this with a pencil, but if you want to do the official way, you use a stylus, which is basically just a sharp object with round balls at the end so you don't poke through the paper, and you outline. You press fairly hard because you want the image to come through onto your fabric, and you go everywhere, all over every single part of the image. Now this particular transfer paper comes out of very very light gray that you won't be able to see on the camera. So what I did on here is you take the images, I just went over them with a pencil, then when I was done with the pencil, you might be able to hear our puppies in there howling, um, I used a permanent marker to help me outline and determine which areas of the fabric were going to be painted and which areas I was going to leave blank. So I outlined, let's say I'm making the collar here, I don't know, it looks something like this, and I want to leave that white, but his neck coming up out of it and his hair, I'm going to be coloring black. So I outlined it, I left those white, and then I just went like this on this side to remind me <laughs> which parts to paint and which parts not to paint. You wouldn't want to do the entire thing with a marker because you'd get too many lines. Then I came back and I used regular acrylic paints. You could use fabric paint. You could also buy something with the acrylic paints. It's in a bottle very similar to this called Fabric Medium. And fabric paints and fabric medium make the paint pliable. So if it's on a fabric and the fabric is moving or bending, it doesn't crack. And then you just take your fabric paint or your paint mixed with fabric medium and paint directly onto your pillow, your napkin, your placemat, and you have a great look for the holidays. This would also be really fun to do with an image of your child for their bed. The possibilities are endless. So have fun and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> 